Well, that brings me to my next question, um, especially since you've studied law. Um, it's 13th Amendment of the U.S. Constitution. I'll just read it. Uh, Neither slavery nor involuntary servitude, except as a punishment for crime whereof the party shall have been duly convicted, shall exist within the United States or any place subject to their jurisdiction. Now, based, yeah. based on the 13th Amendment, would you say, would you say slavery's been abolished or is still no. with us? They just shut the door to one form of slavery and opened the door to the new one in the same amendment. That's actually one of the areas that I study. And one of the questions I pose to audiences when I do public speaking is, wait a minute, why wouldn't they just outright abolish slavery by saying neither slavery nor involuntary servitude shall be allowed in these United States, period? Right. Why not just outright abolish slavery? Why open the door to a new form of slavery? unless you had ill intentions from day one. And the evidence shows that that's exactly what happened. They changed the laws to criminalize standard behavior by black men. So if a black man is talking too loud, hanging out late at night, unemployed, spitting on the sidewalk, that was enough for a southern white sheriff to scoop him up, he'd be tried by an all-white jury, and found guilty. And usually he went to work on a chain gang, and the state profited off of the backs of these inmates. They would face 10, 15, 20 years in prison. For many, it was a death sentence. And companies, you know, corporations, railroad companies, farms, Mm -hmm. they would pay the state for this inmate labor. And they they did it mostly to black men, but I've also seen pictures of black boys as well as black women who faced incarceration in the aftermath of slavery. And prior to the end of slavery, The prison population was essentially all white in the South, mostly poor white men. But after they changed the laws, after enacting the 13th Amendment, then it just flipped to all African American men. (laughs) They went from the plantation to the, right, they went from what was the previously legal slavery, the plantation, to the new, after the 13th, the emancipation version of slavery. Yeah, state the control. actual prison, right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm exactly. glad to hear you say all that you've said, uh, <clears throat> uh, Professor. That that I mean, this whole show, when we started off, I was just saying how encouraged I am to be a part of a nationwide, you know, week of events and to be able to talk with people that are active and in the field and making changes and doing. Because, you know, as an individual, I'm sure you uh, experience this as well. You can get easily get drained just from mm-hmm. the stories and from the information and, like you said, the facts, the numbers, the the reality of it. So, I mean, that's encouraging just to hear you even speaking like you are on this subject. Yeah, and Harriet uh, Tubman didn't give up. When she went back 19 times to free 300 slaves, I can't give up. Right. It takes us having the mindset that we're abolitionists in the 21st century and that we're not going to continue to tolerate these injustices. So from my perspective, until there's no breath left in my body, this is what I'm going to be fighting for, to set wow. the captives free. And you know, using my position, my education, my resources to do that. Cyber hug. Can you feel that big hug? Oh, I'm, I'm a <laughs> hug from, here. from us right, right now. See, y'all getting me fired up. I'm just wow. trying to have a little conversation on the radio. <laughs> this but that- that's just the spirit behind it. It's just, and I'm, you know, I'm a person of faith as well. Mm-hmm. And I just believe that God has called me into this work to speak truth to power and let the chips fall where they may. You so that is how I operate. And that's what we try to stir up in our young men. So <laughs> you guys don't have to tolerate what they're trying to put on y'all. You more than what they're trying to say you are. So rise up and take a stand. Rise up. 